Welcome to Minneapolis High School Basketball here on SalinaPost.com as well as Eagle Communication Channel 2 Minneapolis as <coughs> the Minneapolis Lions about 10 minutes away from tonight's battle against the Hoisenden Cardinals in the championship of the Cardinal Winter Jam. Uh, Scott Osherman and Dale Leach here tonight as the Minneapolis Lions uh, coming into the championship game as uh, trying to uh, repeat. Trying to repeat, it's with uh, And we played Hoisington in the championship last year, I believe, as well. Played in the Hoisington in the championship last year and beat them by a score of, uh, well, I guess I didn't write it down, but we did beat them. And uh, we lost, we played them the year before that in 2010 in the semifinals and uh, lost a very close game to them there. Uh, we did uh, play them also in 2010 in Substate at Bologna yeah. and beat them there. So uh, we've won the last two contests that we played against Poison. I've won two of three in the last three. But, uh, <coughs> Congratulations to the Minneapolis Lady Lions who came away with a victory this morning or early afternoon uh, against uh, uh, Ells Ellsworth. Yes, Ellsworth. The Ellsworth Bearcats. The Lady Lions um, ended up with fifth place and uh, came away with a two and one record a disappointing first round loss to a very good Otis Bison team even though they're an eighth ranked team they're still very good also congratulations to Ali Steinbrock who not only won the um, free throw shooting contest but she was also named to the all tournament yes, team the only so. line named to the all tournament team and uh, I felt fortunate that we since we just played in the fifth place game that we got one on the fifth uh, all tournament team so yeah and she was as deserving as anybody and uh, she won the uh, free throw contest and a shoot off, hit nine of 10 in the shoot off from what I'm told to take home a nice plaque as the winner of that on the girl's side. Clint Glazier won it for Ellsworth on the boy's side. Um, so, ought to be an exciting game tonight here. The Kansas uh, Basketball Coach Association has Poisington ranked number seven in uh, class 3A. Minneapolis has dropped out of the top 10 in the Kansas Coach Association poll, but uh, is ranked fifth in Topeka Capital this last week. So <coughs> it's going to be a tough challenge. Um, uh, Hoisington uh, um, only lost one game. They two are games. they are eight and two. Eight and We're two. nine and two. They're eight and two. Uh, yeah. But they uh, one of their games I uh, heard that they lost was uh, without their uh, six foot eight mm. uh, junior Cody. Uh, Stetler, so uh, you know it's going to be a challenge tonight. They've got some height. Um, we we tend to do okay uh, to an extent with some height. Uh, it just depends on how good our guard play is, as well as how well our low post work against Stetler, and if we can stay out of foul trouble. Their two losses this year have been to Sedgwick, which is a top ten team in the Kansas Basketball Coach Association, and also of course to as you mentioned Ellenwood. Uh, Stetler, the 6'8 fellow, missed four games with an ankle sprain. And that was the last of the games that uh, they played without him. And he's been back for this tournament all the way through starting last Monday. Scouting report from Coach Shoup says they're very physical. Uh, these are my words now instead of his, but probably more physical than finesse. Okay. Uh, he says if the referees call a nice tight game like we felt they were doing in the girls game here that preceded this, that, that might be to our advantage. And this cold door is being opened up to our <coughs> back again and blowing stuff here and there. But, uh, the boys uh, about six minutes away from the battle tonight. Um, uh, the Lions, I believe, will be the home team. They are the higher yes. seed, so they should be the home team. We are on Hoisington's home floor here in the Cardinal Winter Jam against the Hoisington Cardinals. Uh, the Hoisington Lady Cardinals lost in the championship to the Russell Moroncos. So you know the fans are going to be loud here. You know they're going to be pumped because they're going to want one of their two teams to come away with victory uh, here in the championship of the Cardinal Winter Jam. And um, um, it's hard to tell what we've uh, 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 what we've got for fan base right now, I do see some of our fans sure. scattered uh, in the section across from us to the right. There's a few over there. So, yeah. One of the uh, other huge implications out of this game is, of course, Poisington is in our substate. Yes. And right now, the three leaders in substate are Minneapolis, the 9-2 record, 
poisoning from the eight and two and Beloit with an eight and four. So this game really does carry as just a little over halfway into the season now, 11 games. It carries a lot of implications as far as a possible substate seeding yeah. in substate. Yeah, because you know, you look at those, the top three teams, we talked about this on the drive home last night, the top three teams in our substate, Beloit, Poisington, and Minneapolis. Um, and then I believe uh, the four seed right now would be Sacred Heart. Is that what you? Uh, can't remember, possibly, yeah. But yeah. regardless, um, the two and the three seed, more than likely, it's going to be a battle, a yeah. huge battle on the two and three side. And it'd be nice if Minneapolis could hold on to their uh, one seed going through and stay with a one seed. Well, we don't have we don't have the seed yet, but if we can keep that better record, we'll have it. Right. So this will be uh, this is crucial in that regard, of course. And then you've got to play good basketball the rest of the season too. Keep keep uh, a good winning record going with the, with that, the, the fewest losses as possible. Uh, this is the 12th game in the series between Hoysington and Minneapolis. Minneapolis leads it eight wins to three. And we've won the last two in a row, as I mentioned. Hoysington last beat us in 2010 at the Winter Jam semifinals by seven. So lost it. It's kind of a bitter taste defeat there. You know, I remember that game, and it was a tough loss. But it was redemptive because we went up to Beloit and beat them in the semifinals, in the semifinals of, Substate. of Substate and Beloit yeah. um, to uh, make it and then uh, to on go on to the state champion uh, state tournament. So uh, it, you know it's going to be it will be a challenge tonight uh, by all means. You know we talk about Cody Stetler, but um, I'm thinking that is it what, is it Derek Kaiser. 6'5", senior, the one that torched us for some threes. I think he is, yes. Uh, threes last year, number 32. 32. Yeah. And uh, he's tall and he's lanky, and yeah, he's out there hitting some threes right now, or at least shooting some. So I believe he was one that uh, uh, lit him up last year from the outside as well. One of the things that uh, I heard in talking to some – I've been here a long time today, Scott, so I got to talk to a lot of people, <laughs> several that have – have seen uh, Hoisington play, and they said one of the things to expect out of the Cardinals is that they'll full court press, and they do so by lining the 6'8 Stetler up on the ball in the center court. They put the 6'5 Kaiser out on one wing, and they put a 6'3 kid uh, over on the other wing, and then they put their two guards here, here back to deal with everybody else. So they try to create havoc with height and long reaches on uh, the inbound pass with uh, the full court press and then try to deal with what happens from there. And Coach Sheep said that he saw that last night also. Uh, he said Victoria in that game had some success against that with their quickness. However, they just, Victoria had a hard time putting the ball in the hole. And that's what really led to their downfall. So. What was the final of that game last night? I think they won by, Hoysington won by 12. If I'm not mistaken. So I, I really do look forward to this game. I don't think it's a, a complete mismatch despite the size differences. I like our strengths against their weaknesses, which is and those strengths are quickness and the ability to shoot the ball. Plus good defense. Yeah, we and we've had some good defense of late, so about a minute forty away from tonight's tip off and Minneapolis Lions and the Hoisington uh, Cardinals here in the Cardinal Winter Jam Championship matchup. As we will have the starting lineups here in just a second. As I said earlier, Minneapolis in their home white. Um, Hoisington Cardinals uh, in their traveling red on their home floor. So you know that that's a, that's a change for them as well. So. Mm -hmm. This is the eighth year for this tournament. The Lions have been it now six years. And we've won it just one year. The so boys have won it one year. Yep. The girls won it two. Mm -hmm. so. The silence here before they do their obligatory announcements about good sportsmanship and so forth and so on. And then we'll have the announcements. Mike Perry couldn't make it with us uh, today. And I wasn't with him this morning, so. 
Well, we're glad you made it tonight. Josh Macy getting the start tonight. Number two freshman for the Lions. For the Hoisin Cardinals, number two, the five foot 10 sophomore Trent Schremer. For Minneapolis, the senior, number three, Andrew Yoxel. For Hoisington, number four, six foot eight junior, Cody Stetler, and he's one that uh, will be a challenge. I think he's bulked up. You thought he thinned up a little bit, so. Well, just when I saw him in his warm-ups last night, he didn't look as bulky as I thought he would. But uh, look at him with, with, without those in his uniform. He's a pretty good size youngster. Yeah. For Minneapolis, number five, John Darrow, and for Hamilton and Cardinals, Ryan Becker, six foot junior. For Minneapolis, a sophomore, number 30, Alex Yoxel. And for the Hoisden Cardinals, number 22, Anthony Broder, six foot two junior. And for Minneapolis, number 32, a senior, Zach Allison. And for the Hoisden Cardinals, their only senior starter, uh, six foot five senior, Derek Kaiser. One other thing that I, I heard in some of the conversations that I had today is uh, don't expect to see the six foot eight Stetler really be a big presence under the boards. He likes to be outside a lot, likes to shoot the three, some long shots. So uh, it'll be interesting to see how, what, what we see there with uh, the six foot eight guy. That's interesting. So. Those squads have been introduced and the Lions come to center court. So uh, Hoisin and Cardinals primarily uh, juniors, uh, three juniors, a sophomore and a senior. Minneapolis, a freshman, a sophomore, and three seniors. And as I said earlier, Minneapolis in home white. And Hoisington in their traveling red. Zach Allison and Stetler to the jump center. Ball is up, and it will go to the Hoisin and Cardinals. Ball goes in the hands of number five, uh, Ryan Becker, Becker with the ball on the outside, gets it down low to number 22. Uh, Broder, Broder, back to a cutter down low, no good, rebound up and good by number 32 uh, for Hoisington, and that is Derek Kaiser. Minneapolis will bring it down, full court press as you talked about. The Lions break the press, gets to Alex Shoxel back to Josh Macy. Macy trying to trap him in the corner, gets it down to Zach Allison. Back to Darrow for three, up and good. Nice job by John Michael. Hits an early three. Nice shot by J. Mike from the right, left corner. Nice job, Josh Macy with the steal, and he'll be fouled by number two for the, Bearcat, er, for the Cardinals, Trent Schremer. Nice anticipation by Macy right there to see that and to jump in front of the lane. Full court press picked up. Gets it to Andrew Oxel across the timeline. A little bit different full court press than what we've been told to anticipate. Yoxel at the top, back to Macy, down to Zach Allison, looks for a cutter. Goes back to Darrow, that back to Yoxel. Oh! Stetler with the block on the three point shot. So, yeah, six foot eight, you'd think you should be able to block <laughs> something. <laughs> Lines the inbounds, gets it to Andrew Yoxel. Back to Macy, back to Alex Yoxel. Looks down low to Zach Allison. Back to Macy. Blocked and by Stetler blocked. again. Comes the other direction. Oh, nice pass by Hoisington down low. And blocked no. By, blocked by <laughs> Darrow, wasn't it? <laughs> it was either Darrow or uh, Macy down low. Darrow will bring it back down. He's, they try to trap him up there. And they call him for a walk. He lost the dribble, and that allowed, him, allowed them to capsize on him, and then he was in hot water. Ball will come back the other direction in the hands of Ryan Becker. Becker will drive for the Cardinals. Looks for the pick, gets it back up to number 32, Kaiser, down low and up and good by Becker. Four to three, Cardinals with the early lead. 6.02 in the first. 
Macy back to Yoxel. Back to Alex Yoxel. Down low to Zach Allison. Up and no good. Oh, nice job, Zach Allison. Over the back with Stedler, big time, no call. Nice job by Zach Allison with the muscle. Three point shot up and no good. Rebounded. There we go. By Alex Yoxel and the foul will be on number 22 uh, for the Anthony Broder for the Cardinals. Alex Johnson checks in for Josh Macy. Ball goes into Andrew Yoxel. Gets it to Darrow. Cross court to Andrew Yoxel, breaks the press. Blocking foul. On number five, that is Ryan Becker. Third team foul. Andrew Yoxel to get it in. Gets it to Zach Allison down low. Zach swing pass over to Alex Yoxel. Back to Darrow, back to Andrew Yoxel. Back to Alex, down low to Zach Allison, and it's stolen but gotten right back by Andrew. Well, they're letting him play, Dale. Yeah. Well, uh, that was a good rebound by Stetler. Wow. Nice didn't. job there by Alex Yoxel. I didn't see him foul. He just used the size to get up there and get that ball. Foul on Kaiser. Kaiser well, picks up his first personal foul, fourth team foul. Checking in for the Bearcats, or excuse me, for the Cardinals, number 23, Taylor Crawford. That one time he was kind of draped all over uh, Allison's back. I thought maybe yeah. a foul could have been called there. Alex Johnson on the outside, down low to Alex Yoxel, cross court to Darrow. Swing pass over to Andrew Yoxel at the top. Back to Andrew. Kicks it back out to Darrow. There he'll take the three. And no good, but Alex Yoxel with the put back. He can't get it. And wow, Zach Allison hits the floor hard. Good hustle by the Lions. Oh. And the, and the dunk by Cody Stetler. They take the four to three lead. Six to three. Six to three. Yeah. Yeah. Six to three. Johnson, wow, that, now, that, now it's getting a little out of control. Becker with the ball for the Cardinals. See Stetler way out here on the wing. Nice job by Zach uh, Allison. Kaiser, the six foot five Kaiser shot was blocked. Zach Allison. Allison will come out as well as uh, Darrow. And so Josh Macy and the uh, freshman John Kelly check in for the Lions. Six to three, Poison Tip with the early lead, 339 in the first. Kaiser on the outside with the ball. And up and good is Cody Stetler. Andrew Yoxel brings it down across the timeline. Eight to three, Hoisington with the lead. Ball off the mark, rebounded by Stetler. Go back the other direction. And a foul gonna be called on Josh Macy. Lions first team, first foul. Not gotten their shots down so far tonight. Kaiser will be at the line to shoot two. And he makes the first one. Second shot up, and he makes that one. Full court press picked up, Andrew Yoxel. Will come out. John Darrow checks in. Zach Allison will come in for 
Alex Yoxel. Somebody needs to throw the ball in. And that will be Alex Johnson to throw it in. Gets it in to Macy. Back to Kelly, back to Macy. They break the press easily. Down low to Kelly, down low. Back out to Darrow. And the foul will be right there. Kaiser. I think Kaiser, he's enter on number two. We'll see for sure. Either one, they'll have their second personal foul. Good call. His second personal, so he will check out. Ball will go into Darrow. Swing pass over to Johnson. Back to D back to Macy. Back to Johnson. Down low to Kelly. Starts the lock. Kaiser. Three four in this game, I think. Oh, nice job by Darrow. And there's going to be a foul down low. Darrow blocked that one going in. Nice yeah. job. Guys are playing tough under the boards. Yeah, he is. Tougher than uh, what I've been led to believe he has been. John Kelly picks up his first personal foul. Stetler at the line, shoot two. First one is up and no good. The Yoxel brothers check back in for Kelly. And Alex Johnson. So two twenty eight, ten to three here in the first. Hoisington with the lead. At the line is Cody Stetler. Stelter, sorry. Second one is up and it's good. Lions need to somehow establish some offense right here. They've been pretty tough uh, inside and out. We're down by eight, 11 to three. Darrow, not to Andrew Yoxel. Alex Yoxel gets it in the paint, up and he can't get it. And it'll be off of Hoisington. I tell you, they are they are tough down low, and we've been just yeah. kind of throwing up prayers. We've been really having to stretch our shots. Trying to, to get in. them over the yeah. outstretched arms with potential blocks. Macy, back to Yoxel. Back to Alex Yoxel. Back to Darrow. Back to Andrew Yox, a minute 49, back to Macy, here in the first 11 to three, Poisonton with the lead. Gets it in to Alex Yoxel, back to Darrow, back to Andrew Yoxel in the paint. Fourth and block. So, and the finish the other direction by number two, Schramer. Schramer. 13 to three. Well, finally, it wasn't the foul I was looking for, but they finally get uh, Stelter. It's Stetler. Stetler. Well, in one book, you've got it. <laughs> you've got a Stelter in this book, there? and you've got a Stetler. <laughs> okay. Oh, it's, okay. It's Stetler is the actual. Stetler. Yeah. I did that late last night. So. Okay. This copied. Okay. Well, now I know. I'll get it right now. Darrell with the ball. He'll drive. Kicks it back out to Macy. Take that shot, Josh. Minute six, minute five here in the first. Andrew Yoxel. That's a uh, block. Five in this quarter. I don't think it was a block. I think he slaughtered it. I think he got a little of it. Ball goes back the other direction. And the drive. Schremer with the ball. And they will run some clock, 13 to three, up by 10. Stetler with the ball at the top of the key, shot, quick shot, up and good. Four, and that's 15 to three. We have just not had an answer for anything so far tonight. 20 seconds to go in the quarter. 
Yeah, go out there and guard him, big boy. Andrew Yoxel back to Macy. Down low to Zach Allison. Back to Alex Yoxel. Swings it over. Andrew on the outside. Four seconds. Put it up. Alex with the shot, and he can't get the ball. And nothing's falling for us right now, Dale. So well, the, the shots that we've actually gotten to the hoop that weren't blocked, they, they haven't uh, gone in. There's been a lot of them that, uh, unfortunately, haven't had a prayer of getting there. With that, we'll be right back after a word from our sponsors. City Pharmacy has brought you quality professional pharmaceuticals since 1963. Joe and Amber Wall will help you get your medications, durable medical equipment, cosmetics, gifts, and greeting cards. Your hometown pharmacy, City Pharmacy, downtown Minneapolis. If you're searching for the right insurance to fit your needs, look no further. American Family Insurance has been providing security and peace of mind for more than 80 years because they want to protect what matters most. Call Scott Osherman in Minneapolis, your American Family Insurance agent. My opinion here is we're seeing the same thing that happened uh, right now as happened up in Beloit where we're playing a half-court game against their bigs and the bigs are winning. Uh, we're going to have to get some outside shots and or defense to get the steals and get the ball down the court quick and score. Yeah. Uh, dribble penetration, kick it out to a guard or something. Uh, and, and, and we can be afraid to shoot. Josh Macy's mm -hmm. been a little in, uh, hesitant on shooting from the outside. He's got a good shot, um, and so does Andrew Yoxel. So we've got to, we can't just rely on uh, Darrell to take a shot. We've got to have some others that are willing. So Alex Yoxel at the outside, back to Macy. Start the second quarter. Down low to Andrew. Andrew gets his own rebound. I cannot believe we do not get a foul out of something in there. Block number six, by unofficial count in this half. First Darrow, back to Macy, Macy on the outside. Back to Andrew. <laughs> and it drives in and no good, rebounded by Darrow and a foul the other direction. That'll be number seven. That'll be the positive. They mm -hmm. do have seven fouls. If we can hit some free throws. Yeah. Trent Schremer with the foul. The other thing is, is uh, well, now they're going seven deep into their bench, but up until this point, they've only gone one in their bench. Senior Zach Gaddis checks in for The Cardinals. Darrow at the line to shoot a one-on-one. -on -one. And he makes the first one. Second shot coming. On its way, and it's good. He makes them both. Are all our scores so far with John Darrow. Five points. Kaiser. With the ball on the outside. A nice job, Alex Yoxel. Oh. <laughs> Throws it away to nobody. So. Little, str little strong arm there. Great effort to stop that, yeah. that uh, offense. Though. <coughs> Cardinals will bring it down. Schremer with the ball, guarded by Darrow. Swing pass over to number 23, Crawford. And they're going to call Josh Macy, and I think that's number two on Josh Macy. Alex Johnson set to come in for Macy. Poison to inbounds the ball. Alex Yoxel playing some good defense out on the outside. Kaiser for three. <laughs> that could have been a foul. Yeah, that very easily could have been a foul. So, but no call. Yeah. Alex Johnson rescued the ball, but tried to throw it to somebody. Nobody's there. 
Kaiser on the outside, 15 to five here in the second quarter. Poisonton with the with the lead. Kaiser will drive on Andrew Yoxel. Gets it back on the outside to Crawford. Crawford, nice job, Alex Yoxel with the steal. And puts it up and good. Nice job, Alex Yoxel with the steal and the finish. Poisonton will bring it back the other direction. Kaiser with the ball. Kaiser drives, a oh, nice pass down low. Oh, surely you're not gonna call it off late. <laughs> yeah, they, yeah they did, they did. Stetler comes in. Uh, Stetler gets a nice little breather for Hoisington. Also Becker checks back in for the Cardinals. Stetler drives. Nice steal there by Alex Oxel to be in the right place at the right time. He'll bring it down. Gets it to his brother Andrew to set it up back to Darrow. 15 to seven. Back to Johnson. Back to Alex Oxel. Shot up. Can't get it, but Zach Allison with the put back. He can't get it, but Andrew Oxel comes up with it. <laughs> Yeah, we're, uh, we're shooting knowing that big guy's there and our shots are not very good. And that's a turn over the other direction. We're throwing up hopes and prayers. Yeah, Alex Alex is open at about, 50, yeah, about 12 feet. Mm -hmm. Not a little 12 feet. Take that shot and just put it in. So, 5.17 to go in the half. It's 15 to seven in favor of the uh, Cardinals. Uh, we've outscored them 4-0 here in the second quarter. Is that right? Yes, we have. We'll take a quick break. You're listening to this line of post dot com as well as Eagle Communication Channel 2. CNR Plating would like to take this time to thank their many friends and customers for making their business what it is today. Kevin also wants to wish the Minneapolis Lions a great season. CNR Plating, happy to be a Minneapolis Lions backer. The State Bank of Delphus and the Ottawa County Bank in Minneapolis are locally owned community banks which offer traditional accounts such as checking, savings, certificates of deposit, IRAs and loans, online banking. But most important, they're committed to making your banking experience as easy and personal as possible. Member FDIC, equal housing lender. J. Mike brings it down for the Lions, gets it to Alex Johnson. He'll drive, he'll take a little shot in the lane. It's off the mark, rebounded by the Cardinals. Oh, yes, oh, thank it. you very much. <laughs> Turnover will come back for the Lions. It was going to pass, then hesitated, and pulled the pivot foot. Darrell with the ball. 4.58 left to go here in the first half. Gets it into Zach Allison. Swing pass over to Johnson. Down low to Kelly. Back to Alex Shoxel. Back to Johnson for three, up and good. Nice job, Alex Johnson. That's, uh, you know, I, we needed that, uh, Alex, to pull the trigger on that one. Nice job by Johnson. Ball goes back to Kaiser for three, and he gets it the other direction. So Lions had it within five, back to an eight-point deficit. Johnson on the outside. Back to Alex Shoxel. Travel. <laughs> Here's the call. <laughs> no, we just can't do anything with the big boy in there. It's an, it's so. an adventure when we approach him to see what we can do. And yep. most often uh, he's prevailed one way or another. Yeah, he has. Whether it's he's actually done anything or just a threat. Kaiser on the outside, swing pass. Down low to Stetler. Of course, we get fouled. I think it might be on Kelly. Yep. That'll be his second personal foul. Stetler at the line to shoot two. And he makes the first one. A big guy that can shoot free throws. That's yeah, he's an all around. He's an all around pretty darn good ball player. Yeah. I would think he would be getting some, some looks right now.
second shot coming by. Six foot eight junior, shot is up and it's off the mark, rebounded by Andrew Yoxel. It's a back to Darrow, Darrow will bring it down. 19 to 10, Hoisington with the lead. Back to Andrew Yoxel. Back to Johnson. Gets it into Alex Yoxel, back to Andrew. Gets it, uh, oh, come on. <laughs> uh, ball will be, say it'll be off of Johnson. It'll be the Cardinal basketball. 340 left to go here in the first half. 19 to 10 in favor of the Cardinals. Ball on the outside in the hand is a Kaiser. Shot up and no good, rebounded by Johnson. Back to Darrow. They had two bunnies on the inside there, Dale. That Hoisington miss, thank goodness. All from the shorter players. 6'8 wasn't involved at all. Andrew Yoxel on the outside. Drives back to Johnson. Off his foot. Oh! Oh, oh, great. Good yeah. hustle by Andrew Yoxel right there. And Johnson couldn't quite save it. Good hustle there by Andrew Yoxel. Macy in for Johnson. Nice job by Alex Johnson. Kaiser Dan mounts the ball, gets it to Stetler, guarded by Zach Allison. Nice job. Nice Hi. job by Alex Yoxel, as well as number uh, 20, uh, Crawford, number 23. Uh, Possession Taylor arrow Crawford. to the Cardinals. And Stetler gets the inbounds. You and can't stop that unless you're 6'8", uh, too. <laughs> now, Zach, Zach did a great job. Of, uh, he had the defense on him. Yeah. Not much you can do about that. 21 to 10. There we go. Thank you very much. Finally, Andrew Yoxel takes it right into him, and he will make the bucket and go to the line. Nice job, Andrew Yoxel. I don't know, remember who made that pass. Dale? Uh, I'm not sure either. Drew the foul on Stetler, and he's going to sit down. 2.21 to go in the half. Shot us up and can't get it. And Zach Allison's going to get the foul. As he tried to get the rebound down low. Fifth team foul, first personal on Zach. Becker will bring it down for the Cardinals. Guarded by Darrow. Darrow. And rebounded by Andrew Oxlund. And there's going to be a foul. And 30. Right, number 30, he's new into the ball game. Cody Richer. A lot easier for the Lions rebound without uh, six foot eight being in there. Yeah. Richter, sorry about that. At the line will be Andrew Yoxel for a one-on-one. -on -one. Cannot get anything to fall right now, even from the free throw line. 21 to 12. Left a few points on the line right there. Becker with the ball on the outside. Swing pass over to Schremer for the Cardinals. Nice job by Alex Yoxel on the defensive side. Timeout, Poisonington. Poisonington calls the timeout, 21 to 12. Nine point deficit here in Hoisington. Minute 45 left to go in the half. You're listening to SalinaPost.com as well as Eagle Communication Channel 2, Minneapolis. We'll be back after this word. Terry and Wanda Robbins support the Minneapolis Lions Sports Program. 
They hope that you will do the same. And in this coming year, the best to the Minneapolis Lions sports program. The Minneapolis Junior Senior High School Lionbackers are proud to continue their long-term support of the broadcast of these Lions games. Join us as we support student activities and the teachers of MJSHS. Go Lions! We're with you all the way. Where do you go when you need groceries? Jeans IGA, of course. Jeans is proud to be a sponsor of Minneapolis sports and hopes that you'll encourage your children to be as competitive in the classroom as they are in sports. Jeans IGA, a proud sponsor of today's game. Welcome back to Hoisington, Kansas. Cardinal Winter Jam championship game here. As the Hoisington Cardinals right now all over Minneapolis, 21 to 12. Here with about a minute 45 left to go in the first half. Looks like Stetler's going to probably sit the rest of the half with his two fouls. Well, they're in, they're in control right now. Yeah. I think that's yeah. probably a wise choice. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Kaiser with the ball. Guarded tightly there. Three second call. Somebody got caught watching the paint dry. <coughs> 135 to go in the half. Alex Johnson on the outside. Back to Andrew Oxel. Cross court pass down to Alex. Shot up and no good, but Johnson with the rebound. He can't get it, but Andrew with the with the ball and nothing will fall. Nothing will fall. But he does go back to the free throw line. Double this time bonus. to shoot two. Nice job by Alex Johnson as well as Andrew Yoxel down low. <clears throat> Shot is up and good by Andrew. Second shot coming. <clears throat> shot is up and it is good. What did we hear last night? Tickling the uh, twine? The, the spear. <laughs> the spear going through the, the twine. Tickling the twine. <laughs> I don't have those fun words. Sorry about that, folks. Ball goes off on the outside to Cardinals. Oh, nice pack door pass. Down low to number 23, Crawford. 23-14, 55 seconds remaining in the half. Johnson, way short. What a save by Jackson. Oh, Goodness man. Gracious. Johnson. Andrew wow, and he hits spill. the floor hard. Shot didn't go in, but he'll take another two free throws. He's got enough composure to do so. Wow. That was an amazing steal, and he threw that ball back into the center court. Where the Lions fortunately rescued it. 36 seconds remaining in the half. The Lions down by 9, 23-14. And he makes the first one. Nice job, Andrew. He hit the floor hard, folks. But what a great save, Dale. Oh, that was a beautiful save. Highlight reel, for sure. And he makes them both. Nice job. Nice adjustment, Andrew. 23-16, Poisington. 32 seconds left. The Lions really need to stop a shot here. Kaiser with the ball on the outside. Oh, wow. They beat us to the back yep, door. They he did. got the shot up, and Johnson fouled him. Unfortunately, wow. it went in also. Wow. Shot is up, and it's no good. Rebounded by Andrew Oxel back to Darrow. 12 seconds left. Darrow will bring it down. Didn't really use a three here by J. Mike. 
He just flat ran into a wall and gets called for charging. <laughs> uh, he was going to try to split the difference there, I think, and the wall didn't open up. Three quarter court shot by Kaiser, no good. And that will end the half 25 to 16. Lions do win the battle on the quarter, but uh, we're still down by nine here at halftime. We'll take a break. You're listening to slidepost.com as well as Eagle Communication Channel 2. And welcome back to Hoisin in Kansas Cardinal Winter Jam here in the championship game, the Minneapolis Lions and the Hoisington Cardinals. And uh, first half, uh, first quarter was really controlled by Hoisington. Uh, went out to a 15 to three lead. Minneapolis, though, bounced back in the second quarter and outscored Hoisington 13 to 10. Actually, he had it 13 to eight, and we gave up a bunny at the end uh, that had to drive Coach Shoot nuts. Uh, but uh, 13, uh, uh, outscored him 13 to 10, that helped us to get look back in this a little bit. Uh, 25 to 16 is the score at the half. Run through some scoring real quick. Uh, first of all, <coughs> for the Hoisington Cardinals, uh, Cody, uh, excuse me, Zach Gaddis uh, with two points, Taylor Crawford with two points, Ryan Becker with two points, Trent Schemmer with two points, Derek Kaiser with seven, and Cody Stetler with ten for the Hoisington Cardinals. And six blocks on a uh, <laughs> I'll give him maybe four. Uh, he had six, but I <laughs> didn't like him. Um, for the Minneapolis Lions, only four players in the scorebooks. Um, Alex Yoxel with two, uh, Alex Johnson with three, John Darrell with five, and Andrew Yoxel with six. And uh, we've been a little gun shy uh, of taking it down low, uh, taking it into the paint. We've been a little gun shy of uh, putting up some shots on the outside. We've got to make that adjustment and not be afraid to take those outside shots here in the second half. I would. I agree with you to a point. I'd say we were out, we're shy of taking the outside shots. The first quarter, we tried our darndest to get the shots in from underneath the basket and met with great disaster. I think Shoup was trying to get some early fouls called and mm -hmm. uh, did not work to our advantage. Yeah. Uh, foul, uh, foul wise, uh, Hoisington Cardinals. Uh, Hoisington has, uh, just looking at their scoreboard, they have. Um, uh, can't tell for sure. They've got 11, 10, 11 fouls total, and uh, can't see the board. I think about uh, seven for the Lions. Yeah, seven for the Lions. Foul wise, um, Stedler with two, Kaiser with two, Schemmer with two, Becker with two, and Broder with two for Minneapolis. Macy and Kelly with two, Darrow and Johnson with one, as well as Zach Allison. Lions had the ball to start the second half. John Michael with the ball on the outside, Andrew Yoxel with the ball now. Picks up his dribble, swing pass over to Macy. Back to Alex Yoxel in the paint. Nice job, Alex just takes a quick shot. That's what we got to do, Dale. You got to take a quick shot and not let the big guy come to you. Mm -hmm. Ball goes on the outside. Kaiser down low. Shot up, no good, rebounded by Darrow. Nice job by Zach Allison. Put a little pressure on Stetler. Macy, back to Jim, Alex Yoxel. Back to Andrew Yoxel. Saved, uh, stolen, but saved by by the Lions. Macy with the ball. Back to Andrew. Oh. I believe it yeah, was tipped. It, 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 it was tipped by the it Cardinals. It should have been tipped. Coach Shoup is pleading his case yeah. to no avail. Backcourt violation is the call. It will go back to the Cardinals. Becker with the ball on the outside. Swings it over to number 22, Broder. Broder back to Kaiser. Kaiser will drive to the left-hand side, and it'll be tipped out of bounds off of Minneapolis. 25-18, 6.50 left to go in the third quarter. Ball will go in and stolen by Zach Allison. Went right through Stetler's hands. Acted surprised that he was getting the ball. Macy back to Alex Oxel. Gets it back to his brother Andrew. Andrew picks it up back to Alex. 
Alex tried a backdoor layup and it got blocked. Mm -hmm. Wasn't by Stetler that time. No, it wasn't. <coughs> Becker with the ball for the Cardinals. He'll drive, kicks it back out to Broder, back to Kaiser. Kaiser backs down in, shot up, no good, and now that should have been a foul. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I appreciate that because I've, I've I felt that way all night. <laughs> It wasn't, uh, wasn't Settler, it was no. 20, 22, whatever his name Broder. is. Broder. So. No call. Lion basketball, 25-18, Lions trail here by seven. Zach Allison has it stolen away from behind. Kaiser. And up, no good. There we go. Thank you very much. Josh Macy gets position for the rebound. He's fouled by Becker. A number five on the red, Becker. Timeout, Minneapolis. I'm at somebody. Referee's doing a lot of talking to shoot. Yeah, I know. Coach calls a uh, shoot. was called for a 30-second timeout. He takes one. So 25 to 18, Minneapolis holding their own here to start the third quarter. Uh, we got to uh, continue to chip away at this lead, try to get back into this here in the, in the third quarter. Go ahead and keep it here. You're listening to SalinaPost.com as well as EU Communication Channel 2. Want to say a special thanks to Kenny Hendricks and Century Scorebooks. I'm good, buddy. Um, Century Scorebooks, Kenny Hendricks for providing our scorebooks throughout the year. Uh, Kenny Hendricks, Century Scorebooks. Ball goes into Andrew Oxel, back to Alex. They pick up a full court press. Ball will come back down across to Andrew. They break the press. Back to Alex. Uh, excuse me, Zach Allison. Back to Andrew for three. It's short. And Andrew gets his own rebound. Nice job, Andrew Yoxel. Blocked. And stolen by the Cardinals. By the six foot eight Stetler. Now that one I will give a block to. So seven unofficial blocks on the night. All goes back, Kaiser, a long three, it's off the mark, rebounded by Josh Macy. Back to Darrow. They have held Darrow in check here since he hit that early three, and another steal by, and that should be goaltending. Oh no. Foul wow. on rebound. Wow. On number five, what's his name again? Oh, that's Becker. That's the case. He's four. Well, they didn't put it up on the board yet, so. I don't know what the call was, Dale. 22 comes out. They don't show a foul. Yeah. Must have just called that out of bounds or something. Any, either way, Andrew Yoxel brings it down, gets it to Zach Allison, into Alex. Oh, there's a foul on Stetler. Yes! Yo! Alex, nice job, Alex, Alex Johnson Yoxel. wisely got the ball in the paint and wow. waited for Stetler to go up in the air, and Stetler came down on him. Nice job, Alex Yoxel. A big bucket right there. Stetler picks up his third personal. Did, they, did we get the bucket? Yes, they oh, counted it. I can't believe it. I can't believe it either, but <laughs> they did, so... <laughs> And misses it, and rebounded by the Cardinals. Comes back the other direction. Kaiser with the ball. And nice little lay-in by Stetler. We got a, we got a, a way with one there. Yeah, we did. 27 to 20. Darrow will bring it down, backs it away. Zach Allison. And Kaiser with another pass. steal. Getting the passing lanes. And no good. Nice job. They, Great they defense got a little on fancy. Macy. Nice Great job by defense Macy. by Macy. Yeah. They got real fancy on that one. And uh, yeah. he got the rebound too. Yeah. Macy did a great job of hustling down. Ball goes to Macy on the outside. Swing pass or to Darrow. 
It'll be out of bounds off of Becker. Poison is having some quick hands on the passing lanes here. They are. It's really causing us some problems in this third quarter. So Alex Johnson checks in for the Lions and the uh, Cardinals get in number three, Jacob Durrett and Broder back in. So ball goes back out to Johnson. Back out to Andrew Oxel. Swing pass over to Macy. They have been quick in the passing lane, Dale, as you talked about earlier. Oh, oh come on. Johnson fires a skip pass across the lane as Yoxel cuts in, and it's way over the head and out of bounds. Time 20, out. 27 to 20. They're trying to let us get back into this, yep. Dale. Yep. They are, but we are uh, kind of shooting ourselves in the foot. 313 in the third quarter left. We will take a quick break. You're listening to SalinaPost.com as well as Eagle Communication Channel 2, Minneapolis. We'll be back. City Pharmacy has brought you quality professional pharmaceuticals since 1963. Joe and Amber Wall will help you get your medications, durable medical equipment, cosmetics, gifts, and greeting cards. Your hometown pharmacy, City Pharmacy, downtown Minneapolis. If you're searching for the right insurance to fit your needs, look no further. American Family Insurance has been providing security and peace of mind for more than 80 years because they want to protect what matters most. Call Scott Osherman in Minneapolis, your American Family Insurance agent. CNR Plating would like to take this time to thank their many friends and customers for making their business what it is today. Kevin also wants to wish the Minneapolis Lions a great season. CNR Plating, happy to be a Minneapolis Lions backer. Welcome back to Hoys Kansas Hoysen Connectivity Center. Cardinals with the ball. And a seven point lead, 313 to go in the third quarter. Becker with the ball for the Cardinals, got it, guarded by Darrow. Moving wow. screen on Stetler. Nice Foul job. number four. That'll be a big one right there. That is huge. That is number four on the big guy, and that is at the 303 mark here in the third. And how big is that one right there? That is huge, Dale. <laughs> he didn't quite get set in time. Macy bounced off of him big time. Darrell with the ball. He'll drive. And he'll be fouled. And that'll be on is it number five, Becker. Oh, that's four on Becker, too. His fourth personal foul. All goes into Johnson. Johnson charging foul. Man, that's a good call. Yeah, that was a good call. And you gotta, although second, you gotta. Second, you gotta, second personal, first team foul. Gotta pull Becker out for Hoisington there. He took that charge, but boy, that could have been his ball game right there. What a steal by Alex Johnson. Nice job, and Darrell comes back the other direction. Nice job by J. Mike. Great job by Andrew Yoxel, and Poison calls a timeout. Nice job by the Lions. They've cut it to within five here, 27-22. Great hustle by Andrew Yoxel at the top there, Dale, and he forced that. And he and laid his body out. He did. Keep that ball alive, and there was J. Mike to pick it up and run it into the layup. So we'll take a quick break. You're listening to SalinaPost.com as well as Eagle Communication Channel 2, Minneapolis. The State Bank of Delphus and the Ottawa County Bank in Minneapolis are locally owned community banks which offer traditional accounts such as checking, savings, certificates of deposit, IRAs and loans, online banking. But most important, they're committed to making your banking experience as easy and personal as possible. Member FDIC, equal housing lender. Terry and Wanda Robbins support the Minneapolis Lions sports program. They hope that you will do the same. And in this coming year, the best to the Minneapolis Lions sports program. The Minneapolis Junior Senior High School Lionbackers are proud to continue their long-term support of the broadcast of these Lions games. Join us as we support student activities and the teachers of MJSHS. Go Lions! We're with you all the way. Welcome back to Hoisington, Kansas. Cardinal Winter Jam 
Hoisington with the ball, Lions clawing back into this now within five. <coughs> ball into the hands of Schremer. Guarded by Darrow. Kicks it back on the outside to Durrett. Back to Kaiser. Kaiser, he'll pick up his dribble, looks down low. Nice pass down low, and the bucket's up and good by Broder. Nice look and nice finish by Broder. Ball goes back to Darrow, the other direction. Darrow will bring it back out. Into Zach Allison. And this blocked by blocked. Kaiser. Took too long to set up. And uh, Kaiser gets the bucket, and he will be fouled. And they've got a chance to go back up to within 10 right here as they get a quick 5-0 run and foul is on Andrew Yoxel, his first personal foul. Cardinals have 14 fouls, the Lions two. And just like that, they're back up by 10. Full court press picked up. Back or to Darrow, back to Johnson. Johnson will drive. Back to Macy. Kaiser's got some good quick hands in there. Back to Johnson. Ah, his pass is knocked away. Picked up by the Cardinals. Kaiser with the ball. Kaiser with the ball will bring it down. Walked with it down low. Nice tie up right. Oh, yes. <clears throat> nice job by Alex Johnson. And Mortimer's checking in for the Lions. Johnson. Gage Mortimer checks in for Alex Johnson. <clears throat> Back to Darrow. Back over to Mortimer. Back to Alex Yoxel. Down low, back to Darrow. One thing they are doing is they are keeping. Mortimer gets it to Alex Yoxel. Nice shot, no good. Andrew back up and good. Nice job, where's the foul on that? Andrew gets the bucket. He has to fight for it. No call with the finish there by Andrew Yoxel. 45 seconds left in the first, and they're gonna get Alex right there with the reach old back. They'll reach around. Third team foul, first personal. John Kelly checks in for the Lions. Forty-three seconds in the quarter. And Mortimer off of his feet. Good quick hands by the freshman Gage Mortimer. Or quick feet, I should say. Poisoned inbounds. And it will go to Kaiser, guarded by Andrew Oxel. Three point shot. Oh, wow. Had a hand in his face. Like Shoup said last night, you know, you play good defense and they hit ones like that. What do you do? Foul on three, is it? the Cardinals. Yep, yep. Grant with the foul. <clears throat> 15 foul on the cards, three for the Lions. 35-24, Cardinals up by 11. <laughs> and Darrow will chase it down the backcourt, 17 seconds left. Good uh, blocky block set by the Cardinals that Darrow just ran into another wall. That's the second time he's ran into that kid right there, and second time he stood it right in there, and Darrow has gone right into him. Fourth team foul, second on Darrow. Macy with the steal, four seconds. Darryl, Yoxel, long shot, no good off the glass. 
Well, Cardinals outscore us in that quarter. They win the third, 35-24 at the end of three. We got one more to go. And we'll be back after this word from our sponsors. You're listening to SalinaPost.com as well as Equal Communication, Channel 2, Minneapolis. Where do you go when you need groceries? Jeans IGA, of course. Jeans is proud to be a sponsor of Minneapolis sports and hopes that you'll encourage your children to be as competitive in the classroom as they are in sports. Jeans IGA, a proud sponsor yep. of today's game. Your Minneapolis hometown hardware is always there when you need an appliance, paint, tools. Well, truthfully, the list just goes on and on and on. So the next time you need something, almost anything, go to Hometown Hardware Minneapolis. They've probably got it. At Lambert Insurance, Kent Lambert can make shopping for insurance easy. With insurance plans changing all the time and costs increasing constantly, getting coverage you need at affordable rates can be a challenge. Let Lambert Insurance in Minneapolis help. Welcome, welcome back to Hoisington, Kansas. Scott Arshman and Dale Leach here. Once again, special thanks to Kenny Hendricks and Century Scorebooks for the use of the scorebooks for tonight's uh, ball game as well as throughout the season. Minneapolis trails by 11 here to start the fourth quarter, and Hoisington outscored us in that quarter, 10 to 8. Um, take away the first quarter, Dale, it'd be a close game. Close game. So, ball goes down low. Shot up and good by number two. Uh, Schremer, and he. Now there's a foul, surely. Yes. <laughs> uh, Score is 37. Well, they just added another two points. And we are not 15 points down. Uh, it should be 37. 30. Ahead. That's not right. 37, should be 37, right? That's what they had, and they just added another two. So, well, they're off. Yoxel inside, he's fouled on the shot. Andrew will go to the line to shoot two here. Yoxel to the line for two. Seventh team foul on the Cardinals. Yes, uh, shot is no good. There goes uh, yeah. Coach Conradi to the bench to uh, question the score. So, second one coming. There it's corrected. And it's good. 37-25, the 12-point deficit for the Lions here. Shot blocked by Bray, uh, by uh, Kelly. Kelly, nice job by Kelly down low. And they will have the inbounds here. goes into Kaiser. Kaiser guarded by Andrew Oxel. Ball goes back to Schremer. Back to Broder. Cross court to Kaiser. And it'll be off of Kaiser. Back to Minneapolis. You know, Dale, we had within five there. They went on a little 5-0 run. And, and actually 7-0 run. And that's kind of put us back behind the eight ball. And all this time, Stetler's been on the bench with four fouls. He's going back in. Should be a one and one here. Crawford's first personal foul. Josh Macy will go to the line for a one and one. Cody Stetler checks back in. And Macy up and good. Nice job, Josh. Gets his first points of the night. Back rim, just goes up and falls through. I would really like to see Josh get a little bit more aggressive. John Darrow checks back in for Johnson. Offensively. Offensively, yeah. Defensively, he's doing amazing. 
Second shot is up and good. Nice job by Macy. Josh with a nice stroke. He's got a great shot. Mm -hmm. I just I'd like to see him take those. I'd like to see him get a little bit more aggressive on the offensive side and take those open looks. 37-27, 6.54 left to go in the ball game. Hoisington with the lead. Kaiser with the ball on the outside. Near steal by Alex Yoxel. Charging? No, blocking foul on Johnson. No. The bucket count. Yep. <laughs> yep. Johnson gets his third foul. Fifth team foul. That puts 39 official points on the board for Poisington. Alex could have got there just maybe yeah. a split second earlier. Would have been foul number yeah. five on Stetler. Nice job by Alex Johnson. That's that's a big challenge to go in there up against six foot eight Stetler. Probably 270, 280 pounds. <laughs> Take the heat. He gets a three-point play, 40 to 27. And they take him out and set him down. 13-point lead for Horsington. Like that. Josh Macy. Josh will break the plane. Back to Darrow. Back to Kelly. Back. Blocking foul on 23. This is his second personal foul. Be the ninth team foul, so we're real close to double mm -hmm. bonus here. 6.27 to go in the game. Alex locked Yoxel to the line for the one and one. And he makes the first one. Coach Shoup unhappily with Macy about something. Didn't see exactly what happened. Second shot is up, and it's good. Nice job, Alex Oxel. We crawl back to 11. Bodies flying all over the place. Broder with the bucket down low. Andrew Oxel brace the timeline. Back to Darrow. Back over to Alex Oxel. Back to Johnson. Back to Andrew. Down low to Kelly. Nice job, John Kelly. Gets his first points of the night, and he backs his guy right down in there. Great job by the freshman Kelly. Ball on the outside. Gets it to down low, oh, great pass by Hoisington. We double it down to Shremer. Said there's got to be somebody open, and there was. Mm -hmm. And there was. 44-31. Ball goes down low to Johnson, and he gets the bucket. Nice job, Alex Johnson. Good feed from Darrow. A great feed by Darrow. Kaiser will drive. And bucket, up no good. But Hoisington gets a rebound. And they call a timeout, so they will call the timeout to talk about it as Minneapolis trails by 11, 44 to 33. We'll take a quick break. You're listening to slinopost.com as well as Eagle Communication, Channel 2, Minneapolis. Eagle Communications, home of ECTV, high speed internet, 910 KINA, and 99 KG Country is a proud sponsor of tonight's hometown coverage of Lion Sports. Listen to the Lion Sports on SalinaPost.com. Bennett Autoplex supports the Minneapolis Lions. At Bennett Autoplex, you'll find a small town family atmosphere with great prices on new and used cars. New vehicles, including Buick and GMC trucks and SUVs, serving their customers since 1957. Bennett Autoplex, Salina. Bennington State Bank is proud to support the Minneapolis Lions for the 2011-2012 season. 
We're proud to be a part of our great community and strive for excellence in our school curriculum and athletics. Go Lions in the 11-12 season from Bennington State Bank, your trusted hometown bank, with offices in Salina, Bennington, Minneapolis, Wamego, Sylvan Grove, and Lucas. Member FDIC. Welcome back to Hoistington, Kansas. 44-33, Hoistington has the ball. 5-13 left to go in the ball game. Championship game here at the Cardinal Winter Jam. Ball goes into the hands of Becker, who's back in the ball game with four fouls. Stetler's back in as well with four fouls. Kaiser swing pass on the outside goes to Schremer. Battle between Allison and Stetler. Goes to Stetler, foul on Allison here. Sixth team foul. Second personal for Zach. Andrew Yoxel fouls Kaiser. Under the now we're in the bonus. Kaiser will go to the line to shoot a one on one. Second personal on Alec. Andrew. Shot is up and no good. Macy in for Alex Yoxel. Second shot coming by Kaiser here. Up and he makes that one. I didn't realize he was shooting. I thought that was a one and one. So. Josh Macy back to Andrew Yoxel, back to Darrow, swing pass over to Johnson. And swatted away by Kaiser. That was a good block by, yep. not Kaiser, but by Stetler. Andrew had a wide open to the lane and he Stetler. got around him. He did. Eight unofficial blocks for Stetler in the game. Ball goes back on the outside to Johnson. Steal for Stetler. Uh. Long arms <coughs> and height combination there gets the steal. Becker with the ball for. The Cardinals, he'll drive. Back to Kaiser, swing pass down low. Misses the bunny, that's Stetler missing the bunny down low. He got too far in into the basket, he put it up. Darrow back on the outside to Andrew Yoxel, into Zach Allison, up, and he can't get the bucket six, to fall. 6-5 Kaiser on the other side. Grabs it down. Lions trail by 12. Ball comes back the other direction. Kaiser for three. No good. Gonna be a foul in the paint on the Lions. Got two freshmen and a sophomore coming in for the Lions here in just a second. Zach's gonna pick up his Third personal foul. At the line is Schremer. This is the first one. He'll have another one coming. Zach Allison, Alex Johnson, and Josh Macy will sit down. John Darrow, as well as Andrew Yoxel will stay. John Kelly, Gage Mortimer, and Alex Yoxel in the ballgame. He makes the second one. 13 point advantage again for the Cardinals. I think that's their largest lead of the night. It's matched. Matched, yeah. Ball goes into Darrow. Darrow bring it down across the timeline. Back to Alex Yoxel. Back to Mortimer. Shot up and uh, no good, but rebounded by Andrew Yoxel, and he gets the bucket. Nice job, Andrew. With, with Stetler behind him. Yeah, nice job by Gage Mortimer to go ahead and take that. Yeah. Not to be afraid of that. Nice job, Andrew, with the defensive right there. 306 remaining. 46-35. Poisington. Ball goes in to Kaiser. Knocked away by Andrew. Roder with the ball on the outside. <clears throat> gets it to Becker. All goes back to Kaiser. And 
Cardinals running the clock here. And the steal by right. Andrew Yachtel. Tried to get a little bit too fancy with their mm. passes there. Three point shot deep. Rebounded by Stetler. Off the mark by J. Mike. 46 35. Becker with the ball for Poisonton. And it'll be off of red. It'll be Minneapolis ball. Alex Shocks will providing some good defensive coverage there. Checking in for Minneapolis, number 44, Connor Nace gets in the ball game here. Andrew Oxa gets across the timeline. Alex Oxel has it stripped and away. Stolen. Picked up by Kai, or Stetler. 2-0-1 left to go in the ball game. 46-35. Poisonton with the lead. Kaiser with the ball. Gage Mortimer on the defense on Stedler there for a second. Kaiser with the ball. And the bucket down low nice. by number 23. Dish off by Stetler to the open man. Back to the 13 point advantage. You know, I'm, I'm gonna compliment Hoisington here. Nice job, Andrew, over the top. Gage Mortimer. Two more blocks by Stetler. Gage Mortimer with a great rebound there. What I was gonna say was 10 unofficial. I've seen the Hoisington more times than not reach down and help somebody up. Mm -hmm. And you just, I haven't seen that all year out of anybody uh, where somebody falls to ground and uh, I'll see maybe our that's, own team. Maybe that's because they're knocking more people over. <laughs> well, I don't know, but uh, I'll give them a little credit there. So, Mortimer on the outside. I will agree with you. They, they are helpful. There. Alex can't get it, but Connor Nace. There you go, Connor. Nice job. Connor Nace with the rebound, and the putback attempt is blocked, but he's fouled. He'll go to the line for two. Taylor Crawford, his third personal double bonus, but he was shooting anyway. So. Shot is up and off the back of the rim. Kaiser checks back in for the Crawford for the Cardinals. Minute seven, 48-35. Poisington in control here. Second shot is up and it's front rimmed. Rebounded by Stetler. Back to Kaiser. Kaiser will bring it down, crosses easily. Gets it back to Becker. Back to Broder, back to Becker. Kaiser will drive. And Hoisington just works clock. some clock here. And Alex Shoxel will get the foul. Well, Minneapolis will. Uh, lose tonight against a very good Hoisington team, but I'll say this now, I would rather lose now mm -hmm. and hold some things back and hopefully see the mistakes we made, take away the first quarter, and this is a completely different ball game. It's a lot closer. We may see them again later down the line. So, Broder makes the first one. He'll have another one coming. You know what I mean though, Dale? We may yep. see him again. Oh yeah. 49-35, Hoisington's going to come away with the championship at the Cardinal Winter Jam. Second one is up and rebounded by Ale Andrew Yoxel. Buck was no good. Shot up and good by nice John runner. Michael. Five-foot runner. <laughs> Coach Darrow told me the other night if he could just get him to hit some runners, <laughs> and he hit a nice one right there. <laughs> nice job by J. Mike. 49-37, 10 seconds to go. So, Hoisington will come away with the victory tonight, 49-37. to And they're going to exact a measure of revenge over the last two victories by the Lions in sub-state two years ago and the championship of this tournament last year. Yep. 
49 to 37, 12 point win for the Cardinals. So I will get some stats real quick and uh, curious we'll what was their lead at quarter? Uh, 15 to 3, 12 points. Yeah. <laughs> With that, we will take a, word, a break and hear a word from our sponsors. Let's go ahead. They're going to present. Ahead. They're yeah. going to present the trophies here. We'll see who makes the all-tournament team and also um, uh, second-place Minneapolis Lions here. So. Josh Macy played an outstanding tournament for the Lions. Number three, Andrew Yoxel, also my pick would be on the all-tournament team. We'll find out. John Michael, also my pick. Alex Johnson, great tournament. Colin Briggs. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. Alex Yoxel, Gage Mortimer, Zach Allison. 33, John Kelly. 44, Connor Nace. And also Skyler Ebrock. Huh. Skyler Ebrock, did they even call his name? 13, Skyler Ebrock. So. So. Champions for the Cardinal Winter Jam, Hoisington Cardinals. So I'm not going to give you their names, but uh, they come away with the victory. They outscored us in the fourth quarter to the end. The third, they outscored us three quarters. 14 to 13 in the fourth, 10 to eight in the third, 13 to 10 in the, uh, I'm sorry, 15 to three in the first, and we outscored them 13 to 10 in the second. We had it within five at one point in the fourth, to, in the third quarter, and then they just got uh, right back into it. So I'll get you some point totals here in a second. Dale, I'll let you talk. Well, it was, uh, it's a very good team. You got to take your hats off to them. They've got a good combination of uh, with the six-eight boy that uh, is a presence. He altered a lot of shots. He blocked ten unofficial, officially by my count. Uh, and the big thing for Hoisington was when he sat down with fouls, they played just as good a ball scoring, and, and uh, we couldn't keep up with them. They. We got the five-point lead. They ran off seven or nine and established a big lead again. Yeah. Uh, so we tried to make hay while the sun shined there, and they didn't let us. So hats off to the Cardinals for that. Have the all-tournament team announced here. If there's any lines on it, they've all gone to the locker room. Yeah, they're standing there on the side. Uh, As they name off some all tournament team. From across, number 24, Tim Keeley. From Victoria, number two, Corey Hazel. As they continue. From number 15, Clint, Glacier. Clint Glacier, that's a name we've called a lot. He made the all tournament team. From Won the free throw contest. Yeah, good. Andrew Yoxel makes the all tournament team. Also from Minneapolis, number five, John Darrow. And also John Darrow. I was my two picks, and I'm glad to see them both make it. So, and for Hoisington, number four, Cody, Stetler. Uh, Cody Stetler makes it for Hoisington. That wasn't a surprise, yeah. was it? <laughs> no. Nope. Yep. Uh, Kaiser and Broder also make it from Hoisington. So, Kaiser's a very good basketball player. He's, he's uh, uh, got good moves, speed, can shoot, uh, very good defensively. Yeah. Uh, it's a nice combination to have with the six foot eight boy. Yep. Run through some scoring real quick. I don't know that we're going to have a. Uh, we can stay well, around here for an interview. We'll, we'll see. We'll see. We'll go ahead and uh, run through some scoring real quick. Uh, Ryan Becker uh, for Hoisington with two points. Two points by Zach uh, Gaddis. Four points by Taylor Crawford. Five by Anthony Broder. Seven by Trent Schremer. 
seven by Trent Schremer, uh, 14 by Derek Kaiser, and 15 by Cody Stetler for Minneapolis. Uh, John Kelly with two, Josh Macy with two, five by Alex Johnson, eight by Alex Yoxel, nine by John Darrow, and leading tonight, John, uh, Andrew Yoxel with 11 points. Uh, Minneapolis comes up short in the championship game tonight against uh, the uh, Hoisington Cardinals here at the Cardinal Winter Jam. So, there's there's no doubt uh, Stelter's presence in the first quarter was uh, completely detrimental to the Lions' effort. Uh, gave his block shots, uh, his offensive scoring punch, and combination of all the other good things their team did got them that 13-point advantage, and we battled back and got to within five once at least, but. Uh, could not overcome that initial deficit in the first quarter. No, he couldn't. It was, it, was, uh, it was a tough one uh, as the Lions come up short tonight. Uh, you know, uh, I knew it was going to be a challenge coming in because they are, they are, they are good. Uh, they are a solid ball team. I knew that they, it would be a challenge tonight. Uh, this is one that I hope that we can, uh, that we can come away uh, with the some learning from and maybe come away um, come away into substate if we would get the chance of meeting them again learn some of these things um, th we're we although we've got some great senior leadership we are young and uh, this is good learning experience for these kids and uh, we got to figure out a way to come away from this and and battle back in the second half of the season the tournament's done mm -hmm. and uh, we get right back into league play um, well, face it, we didn't have the horses to match what we faced tonight. We didn't have the horses to match what we faced at Beloit. Yeah. And uh, if we beat either of those squads in the future, it'll be because we do things a little bit differently. And I'm sure Coach, he's a good coach, he'll yep. have an opportunity Absolutely. to study both of these and see what we can try to do differently to uh, exact a win if we, in the next meetings we have with either of them. So. When well, you want to take a real quick break and yeah, just we'll, we'll take a little see, break and see if, Shoup if Coach Shoup comes this way. Well, welcome back to Hoisting New Kansas Cardinal Winter Jam. We're going to go ahead and finish it up tonight. Uh, Coach Shoup spending some time in the locker room with his team and with his team and something he needs to do. This is uh, this is a tough one for uh, the Lions, uh, and uh, it'll be a good learning experience for them. We're going to go ahead and cut her off tonight. Uh, congratulations to. Um, the Andrew Yoxel, John Michael Darrow, um, Ali Steinbrock for all making the all-tournament team, Ali Steinbrock winning the free throw shooting contest, and also uh, congratulations to the Minneapolis Lions for a second place finish here. Two, in and, two and one record here in the yeah. tournament. That's very good. It's uh, better than uh, some of our area teams who went 0-3. Yeah. So yeah. <laughs> <laughs> come out and support the Lions next Tuesday night as they return home. Actually, two games next week. Uh, the Tuesday night they face the – Clifton Clyde Eagles and I for the life of me can't remember who we play Friday but they're two home games yep and uh, they will need and appreciate your support yeah so for myself Scott Osherman and Dale Leach Mike Perry and Spirit good night from Hoisington Kansas <laughs>